Good evening, Matt Wordsworth with ABC News. It takes a lot to shock the entire parliament into spurning one of its own, but today that happened to Queensland Senator Fraser Anning. Both the Senate and the House of Representatives voted to condemn his official first speech, which called for a ban on Muslim immigration and invoked a Nazi-era slogan. But Senator Anning is far from chastened. Here's political editor Andrew Probin. No, I don't apologise for anything I say. A new controversialist is in town. It wasn't an inflammatory comment. It's the thought oh, police who, who believe that it's an inflammatory comment. Fraser Anning's maiden speech in the Senate propelling him into the public glare and infamy with a stridently anti-Muslim manifesto. I believe that the reason for ending all further Muslim immigration are both compelling and self-evident. A lament for the return of the white Australia policy, punctuated by a phrase notorious for its association with Adolf Hitler and the Nazis. The final solution to the immigration problem, of course, is a popular vote. I have relatives who went through the Holocaust. The Nazi war machine was responsible for the deaths of more than 10 million innocent lives, including 6 million Jews and 1.5 and million children. The Catter Australia Party senator was flayed in both houses. I condemned the racist remarks of Senator Anning last night as soon as I heard of them, and I've condemned them already today, and I condemn them again here in this House. Mr President, yesterday in this chamber we saw a speech that was not worthy of this parliament. We saw a speech which did not reflect a nation which is being built by people from every country, every part of this world. It was even beyond the pale of his former leader, whose stunts have brought disrepute. I'm appalled by Fraser Anning's speech. It was Pauline Hanson on steroids. I could take offence to that. But Senator Anning's new leader was delighted by his recruit. Oh, I love it. I love it. I mean, our, our phones are on fire. 90% of Australia have been waiting for someone to say it and believe it. Talk to the people of Australia that I do in bars and in crib huts and places and you'll find that most of them would like to uh, back exactly what they say. Like these blokes who heard from Senator Anning about the banks. How many people in this room agree with what the Senator said? We're here to discuss banking issues. All of you agree. For a speech calculated to be divisive, Fraser Anning's maiden effort only brought near universal condemnation. It reminded the Coalition and Labor that as the parties of government, it falls to them to stand up for immigration policy that doesn't discriminate. A pact renewed with a handshake. Andrew Proman, ABC News, Canberra. And both sides of state politics have condemned Senator Anning's comments, saying they don't reflect the views of Queenslanders.